Now, the average human weight varies depending upon what part of the world you are in. For example, in Asia and Africa, 60 kilograms or 130 pounds is average. Meanwhile, 180 pounds is considered average in North America. In all cases, men usually weigh more than women do. So the question is, where do black men and black women average when it comes to weight in the United States? And that's what we're going to talk about in this video. Now, the data for this comes from a publicly available National Health Statistic report for the most recent year, which was 2015, 2016. And in this report, this data was broken down into five racial groups or categories based on Hispanic origin. Those categories were as follows, non-Hispanic white, non-Hispanic black, non-Hispanic Asian, Hispanic, and Mexican American. So without further ado, let's get into the information. The average weight for white men was 202 pounds in the 2015 to 2016 survey year. Meanwhile, the average weight for white women was 170.9 pounds. So that makes a difference between the male and female weights in the white population of 31.3 pounds. Now, this is the largest difference between the sexes among all of the racial groups on the survey. While the white group had the largest gap in weight, the black group was the exact opposite. Blacks in America had the smallest difference in average weight between male and female among all of the racial groups. The average weight, weight, the average weight for black men, non-Hispanic black men, was 197.7 pounds. Meanwhile, the average weight for non-Hispanic black women was 186.1 pounds during the same period. So again, this shows that blacks in the United States have the smallest difference between male and female weight at 11.6 pounds during this year. Next, we took a look at non-Hispanic Asian weight. Non-Hispanic Asians boasted the second largest gap in terms of weight between the sexes. The average Asian man's weight was 161.1 pounds. At the same time, the average weight for non-Hispanic Asian women was 132.4 pounds. So this makes the difference between the average weight of non-Hispanic Asian males and non-Hispanic Asian females, 28.7 pounds. Now, this is, during the United, this is in the United States during the 2015-2016 survey year. Moving on to Hispanic. According to the data, Hispanic men averaged 190.5 pounds in the 2015-2016 survey year. Meanwhile, the women of this racial group, or Hispanic origin group, averaged 169 pounds in weight. Therefore, the difference between the male and female weight is 21.5 pounds as it pertains to the Hispanic population. Now, when it comes to Mexican Americans, there's, there's only a slight difference between the Mexican American category and the Hispanic category. And that's the same whether you're talking about height, weight, body mass index, waist size, the numbers are very similar. Uh, but in keeping with the data on the report, the numbers for the Mexican-American community are as follows. The Mexican-American survey group had an average weight for men of 190.4 pounds, and the average weight for women was around two pounds heavier than that of the Hispanic group at 171.9 pounds. So the difference between male and female Mexican-American weight is 18.5 pounds. So let, briefly, let's recap what we see here in this data. For one, when it comes to weight, non-Hispanic black men in the United States are second, second heaviest, with white men being the heaviest at 202 pounds, black men following that year at around 197.7 pounds. Another interesting observation that these numbers or these uh, rankings are reversed when it comes to the female category. Black females averaged heavier than white females. Matter of fact, black females had the highest 
average weight of all racial groups, averaging 186.1 pounds, while the white female group averaged 170.9 pounds. So this means on average that there is a smaller gap between the average weight of a black man and a black woman than there is between a white man and a white woman. In fact, that gap is smaller than it is between any other racial group. So this, this weight is just one more aspect of overall body size. And we're painting a picture here of how blacks in America, um, our body size is compared to the other racial groups or non-Hispanic origin groups in terms of height, weight, body mass index, waist size. And all of this plays into um, how we are perceived, the perception, your appearance, your physicality contributes to how other people perceive you. There's a lot of correct observations that come from that. There's a lot of myths that come from that. There are um, a lot of just purely wrong um, conclusions that come from that. But nevertheless, it's important to understand where some of these things are coming from. So we've taken a look at height in another video. We took a look at weight in this video. We'll take a look at body mass index in another video, and we'll take a look at waist size in another video. I would encourage you to uh, take in all of this information. That way you'll have a clear picture of where we're going with this. And it reveals some very interesting information and it'll give you a better understanding of why some people think the way they do um, when it comes to blacks in America, for one, uh, but all racial groups, uh, the physicality of each. And you'll understand some of these different uh, sayings that you hear, assumptions, things of that nature. And I think most importantly, it'll give you some insight into why we as black folks perceive each other between male and female in general. On average, uh, some of the perceptions are there. Uh, some of the attitudes are there. And also, it'll help you understand why other races perceive us the way they do. It gets really interesting, so come back and check that out. On that note, that completes this video. If you learned something new in this video like I did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you think someone else could benefit from the information, the perspective, be sure to share it with them. And on that note, take care of yourself, family. Peace. Thank you.